So uh, for our next speaker, um, Tietz Wiebinga from the Staal Slagers. Two years ago, he and his colleagues uh, were approached by Lorenzo Elstock, uh, a youth worker from Rotterdam. And his goal was to invite the residents of Katendrecht uh, in the design of new sport routes sport route along the waterfront. Uh, and what appeared to be a straightforward uh, job became a long-lasting uh, project with unexpected challenges along the way. Uh, Titus will take us through his insights of creating this Copacabana of Rotterdam. Uh, so please come on stage and take it away. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me over. Um, and I'll give a little show or a little talk about Cap Workout. Um, as Kate told you, it's a workout route along the coastline or the waterfront of Katendrecht. Uh, so my first question, who ever been in Katendrecht? I think everybody, great. Oh, not everybody, okay, then I'll tell a little bit. Because Katendrecht is amazing. Um, if you visit, you know that the view of the rest of the city is very nice, and that's the reason that there are quite some people that use the, the, the waterfront uh, for running. And then this guy, Lorenzo Elstock, he came over to me, that guy, through a friend of mine, and uh, he's a youth worker, then he switched to having his own dance school at Katendrecht, he's really involved into his own neighborhood. Um, and he had some ideas about what should change through this little island, because he saw all these people running, but he thought, we can make more of this, let's create a workout route in which people can uh, practice their strengths, stability, um, endurance, all kinds of things. Um, and through a friend, I heard of this project, and she just asked, ah, could you help this guy um, maybe like just use some old materials and build something along the coast and then people can do some uh, training and I thought, okay, I, yeah, let's just give it a try. Let's talk with this guy. So uh, what I want to show is that my, I first thought this is short, you know, it's gonna be more of a, um, okay, I'll help this guy out. Then I started talking, and it turned out that he knew some people at the municipality. Um, City Lab 010 just started. Uh, so together we wrote a uh, plan uh, that would take a year, uh, in which we would make prototypes, put it in public space, see how people react, uh, use that to uh, create another version. Uh, we wanted to make a nice event. Um, and then now we're two years later and we're not finished yet. So that's what happened. It took way longer. Um, let's <laughs> go to the start. Uh, we kickstarted it uh, by just starting building. Um, on a corner at Katendrecht, we made this six meter high tower or in order to get attention. And this tower is a water tower. So um, at the bottom there are two pumps and people are invited to challenge each other to get the water from the mass up there as quick as possible and the one who gets up first wins. Um, this is a father with his children and the dad was more into it than his children. He was like almost pushing the children aside to win. That was an interesting <laughs> insight. Um, and another thing was that where you see this um, arrow or this uh, lightning thing, that is where we build it. And what happened is that uh, people from the, um, these high tall buildings, they came over because they were afraid we would ruin their, um, their view. Because they very much value their view. And I heard that even some of the trees you see were taken down because people wanted their view. So that was for us something we have to uh, take in consideration. Um, also we had uh, a whole workshop prepared, um, but we we had some flyers around, Lorenzo asked some people, Lisa van der Meer was there to do a nice uh, workshop, but there were only a handful of people, so we knew we had to do it differently. Um, so instead of asking people to come to us, we went to them. Uh, we went to certain uh, um, primary schools, we did workshop with them, we went to Circus Rot Rotjeknoor, um, who is a local partner there, uh, we went to um, CrossFit 010, and together with them we gained the first ideas. Um, and those ideas uh, we used at the Kaapschip. Um, the Kaapschip is this boat. 
and that's uh, already an amazing project. People from Katendrecht arranged that the ship was placed on land, and this uh, ship now is like a big playing field. So you can climb on it, it can be used as a music podium, uh, there are hills around it. Uh, and for us, this was a great opportunity, because we um, took some of the inspiration and made some simple designs, showed this to the municipality, and they already started like, oh no, these uh, triangulars, uh, triangulars like this can't be because people could suffocate. So everywhere there are problems. Really, it's, uh, there are so many rules. But we could change the design a little bit. And um, this boat, for us, was a place where we could try out things without having full uh, permission from the municipality. Because this boat, um, <coughs> the, the ground is not owned by the municipality, but by these people who were for, responsible for the boat. <laughs> so then we sort of started making deals. So if it was kind of safe, for them it was OK. And then we were allowed to uh, put it there just as a test. Um, and then it was time for our big event. Uh, and this time we had this group of youngsters who uh, started talking with people, went to people's home, explained what it was, uh, leafed the leaflet, we had posters, um, and that way we were able um, to reach people. And so that's actually what I want to show is the CAP event. Um, at the event, there was food, free food. That already helps. Um, <laughs> that brings people together. Uh, not to forget, uh, nice ice cream. Um, and then at that event, we had two uh, installations we showed. Uh, there were people that do calisthenics. They're really muscular guys that did great shows on them. Uh, they showed these youngsters how to do that. So they did their tricks. You had all the moms being uh, <laughs> showing it, recording it. Um, <laughs> There were people from the circus, uh, they gave workshops, so they, there was this uh, balancing court we made um, and they helped uh, kids uh, and adults practice their balance. Um, this is part of the ship, uh, which is also already nice, people watching. Um, there was even theater, because uh, when we started this project, um, we already heard some people indeed about the view, others like, oh, all that money that is wasted, that's stupid, we need other things. And then actually people uh, from the theater, they, they, uh, they were disguised as normal people, so they started shouting, and then um, uh, Lorenzo could answer what, uh, yeah, could answer what, uh, they were fearing off, and then he could already try to smoothen it off. Um, let me see. And um, the big compliment we got when we had this um, event is that people said it was one of the first times in Katendrecht that old Katendrecht and new Katendrecht were actually together. Uh, old Katendrecht are the people who originally lived there, and new are the people in the fancy homes who are there, sometimes called the Gold Coast. Um, so at this event, finally, there was a little bit of a mix. Um, and um, we asked people to join new workshops so that we could alter our designs. And that's the phase where we are in now to, instead of these tests, have something that will stay on Katendrecht. Um, and, well, one of them is, for example, the steering wheel. A uh, um, crane. A crane. And in the back that's next to the SS Rotterdam, uh, you can actually see the cranes of the harbor. So the idea is that it fits with the environment. And last but not least, on the little strandje, the, the beach, there is this, uh, this uh, balancing court. And some youngsters in Katendrecht now uh, made their own project, and they're going to make more stuff on the beach. So that's also pretty important. Um, this project helped other people to also get started and um, try to make their own uh, decisions of, their, of the public space. Uh, thank you very much. That's it for now. <laughs> Thank you so much.